Welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of the Day. It's Mike Smith here. It is Friday, the 3rd of November, and we are at the midpoint of the Asian session. So delighted to see you here today, and let's have a look at what's happening in markets right now. Of course, overnight, we saw US equities up across the board on continuing positive earnings, surviving, of course, a plethora of potentially market-moving news this week, including the Fed, the BOJ, the Bank of England, and lots of jobs data. But of course, we've got non-farm payrolls tonight. It's the last hurdle in market thinking for right now though it is friday and of course friday often produces some interesting price action u.s futures are a little weak after apple sales figures blighted an otherwise good report after the bell uh, they did beat expectations both on eps and on revenue but their sales figures dropped for the fourth consecutive quarter which has just raised a concern or two uh, about what may happen in q4 uh, down about three percent in after hours trading Dow's just in positive territory now, I notice, on the futures contract. And European futures are pointing to a positive open this afternoon. Meanwhile, in Asia, we're seeing a generally higher day following that positive US lead. The ASX following through on yesterday's rally, up around about 1.2%. Across the board gains, all major indices are up in excess of a percent, with the exception of the Shanghai index, which is around about half percent to the upside, underperforming slightly. The VIX continues to pull back as well, suggesting a little bit of market calming. Weakness in the US dollar index, that pulled back again. Gold, however, didn't move up on that, but is pausing beneath that 2000 key psychological level on the CFD contract. Copper had a really good day, breaching the top of a short term range and hitting one month highs, and all bounced off its 200 MA in a strong session yesterday. Bitcoin tested, technically important, 35,000 level a couple of days ago. Failed to hold it yesterday, pulling back into the range we've seen it in for uh, the last week or so. On the data front, we've got earnings and Middle East conflict remaining in focus. The latter possibly meaning we may get just some selling into the close. Uh, We've had Chinese services PMI, which beat slightly. Got UK PMI, Eurozone jobs, and of course the non-farm payrolls tonight as well. Got some Canadian jobs just to throw into the mix too. So just beware of that if you're into a Canadian dollar trade. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. On the SX, we're like in APA. You can see there what looks like a technical double bottom. Moving back up to a key level at 8.40. Not even upside in this, maybe up to $9 in the first instance before it may pause. And a good stock just to diversify a portfolio a little bit be interesting to see where that is at the close of the session in the fx market we've got an eye on the euro usd you can see we've had pretty similar price action both yesterday and the couple of days previous where we've shot up to this 109.68 level and then subsequently pulled back straight away so we've seen that twice perhaps we're due another foray up to that level we have pushed up in asia to 106.28 a breach of that would suggest that we may get some buying coming in and retest that 40 pips to the upside. Don't forget, of course, that non-farm payrolls data out later. It's certainly worth being cautious if you've got any open positions just before that data is released. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.